we're here with Paul Merson, one of the most flamboyant midfielders of his generation, face of Sky Sports, known around the world to millions. It's good to be here, it's, it's a nice place, it's a good setup. Good setup. I've been played in a few of these to be fair. I've played on these quite a lot of times like over the last few years, so it's good. And uh, do you still get involved in like five a side football? Yeah, more so than the eleven a side. You know, it's smaller and I can run, you know, I don't have to run around so much. So yeah, and I like it. It's a good social, you know, you play with your mates and everything, so it's good. It helps with like young players and uh and like teenagers in terms of development, like playing on smaller pitches, allows you to be more technical, right up your alley, very technical player. Do you find that on these pitches? Yeah, very much so. You have to be skillful. I mean you ain't got you ain't gonna be able to boot the ball up in the air and things like that, but you then you have to take it onto the big pitch after. But it's a great place to learn your touch and you know you've got to have a good touch. You can't be playing on here and you ain't got a good touch. So for me it's important. And how important is it not only youths but adults uh, to be coming down here playing in these leagues? Yeah, I think very important. I think it's good. It's a good social. You get to meet players, you know, and you get meet friends. You play against other lads and all that. I, I think it's, you know, it's a good thing. Plus, it's you can play in your time. You know, you can go work. Lads go to work, and then they can come and play at nine o'clock or eight o'clock in the evening, which is, you know, it's a lot better. So it's it's a, it's a good social as well. And I played for a whole host of clubs. Played for England. Um, still playing for England Legends. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I played a few times. Yeah, I, I don't think I've had any games recently, or they haven't rung me one or the two. But yeah, no, I enjoy it. You know, you see old mates, and you know, you can't beat playing football. It's the best sport. In the That's world. it. Is it still, does it still get quite competitive? Very. I played on. When did I play? I played on Wednesday down at Exeter for uh, Matt Latizzi asked me to play for Fly B against. Exeter legends and yeah you get involved I mean I've got cut knees cut arms where I fell over running after the ball so yeah when you play you want to win it's and it's the same on these pitches you know as soon as you start playing you want to win you don't want to turn up to get beat and obviously we're outside the home of football busy few weeks at Wembley um, we've got the FA Cup coming up we have the uh, Champions League final um, wrap up of the season now yeah I think it's been good I think it's been a leveler I mean no one's run away with it at the top and, and no one's you know no one's been cut a drift at the bottom I mean I think it's been a real real good season I think teams have come up have been a credit I think they've held themselves very well and I just think the league's getting a little bit more as I say no one's run away from it so it's getting a little bit tighter and teams are getting better all around all around now which is which is only good it's the best league in the world there's no doubt about it and obviously a club very close to your heart Arsenal um, how do you think their season has been how do you think uh, they can progress for next season well, they can only progress, can't they? They can't get any worse. You know, that's not being horrible, but they need to win a trophy. I mean, from the date, from the first, from the first time they went in the Carling Cup, the team that, that Arsene Wenger put out, they were going for it. You know, it was a strong team, and and they set out to win it. And you know, it was a bit of a blow to them not winning that. And I think that sort of knocked them sideways. But there are a couple of players away from being a force again. They're a force. I mean, they're up there every year. I mean, they haven't won anything, but. You know, Arsene Wenger, I think another year without the trophy will see certain things differently this time round next year. And, you know, I think they'll be up there again next year, there's no question. I mean, can they afford to keep going another season without a trophy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they get 60,000 every week. It's not like they're getting 20,000, they need to win a trophy. I mean, Arsene Wenger's job for me is probably, Bart with Alex, Sir Alex Ferguson, the safest two jobs in football. Uh, they just they need a couple of players. If they can get a centre half, the young goalie will be a year older, you know, more experienced. They won't be a million miles off. And you mentioned Sir Alex Ferguson, 28th of May, Champions League final right here. I mean, is that the dream final, Man United Barcelona? If you're a Man United fan, it is, isn't it? If you're not a Man United fan, it's not. Uh, yeah, it, it'll be a good final. I mean, both teams deserve to be there. I mean, along the way, I mean, Chelsea, Man United beat Chelsea twice, they wiped the floor with Schalke. I mean, they deserve to be there, it ain't a fluke. Uh, if anybody's going to beat Barcelona, I thought it would have been Chelsea if anybody was going to beat them. But Man United have got the experience, they have got the players, they've got the, the know all. You just hope that a certain couple of players for Barcelona have an off day and Man United could win it. They could win it. I mean, it's all about a bit of luck on the day. And if uh, United win the league and uh, the Champions League, that'll be 19 Premier League titles. Uh, Eclipse in Liverpool will be three European Cups for Fergie. Do you reckon he call it time or carry on? I think he'll carry on. I mean, the man loves football. What's he going to do if he retires? Sit indoors and watch Jeremy Kyle every day. I mean, what, you know, so, no, I mean, he loves football. I mean, he loves football. I mean, I'd be shocked. 
I mean, I'd be shocked if he did retire because I think in six months, you know, after a bit of racing here and a bit of racing there and a bit of golf and a holiday with his family, I think he'll be thinking why. So I hope not. I hope not. And then obviously before that we have the FA Cup final, um, Stoke, Man City, two teams uh, not many people would have thought would get to the FA Cup final. Do you think that's a fantastic fixture and a good advert for the competition? It depends how the game, game fans out. I mean, I think both teams have done great to get there. I mean, Man City beat Man United and then, you know, and what Stoke done to Bolton was just unbelievable. I mean, absolutely wiped the floor of them. If Everton is, is fit, I think they can give Man City an absolute game. There's no question about that. I don't think this is a turn up and just win the cup. I mean, if he's fit, they have the ammunition to really upset Man City. And I think that I think it'll be a real good cup final. This I think it's both teams will go out and enjoy it. And I, I think you know I think this could be one of the best.